Hey guys, what's up? It's Anna Louise and happy 4th of July to everybody in America that is celebrating the 4th of July today. And I mean, happy 4th of July as in happy day to everybody else in the world as well. Um, of course, it is Independence Day in America and so I tried to be all festive, which you can't really tell, but this is just like a little romper that I'm wearing. It's all red, white, and blue. And then I have my red lipstick on and I just put some like blue under my lash line um, and if you can see any kind of mess that my fake eyelashes are I completely apologize I'm working on perfecting fake eyelashes because it is hard um, but anyway today's video I'm so excited for I have been like literally so stoked to film this because I've gotten so much good feedback about these products um, on my Instagram account. If you don't follow me, go follow me at it's underscore Anna Louise. And yeah, like I said, I've gotten a lot of good feedback um, about people saying that they love these products. And I have a lot to say about them. So I'm going to go ahead and get in. And as you can tell by the title, I am reviewing the, or two products from the Jeffree Star Summer Chrome Collection. And it is the Liquid Velour Lipsticks. So... First of all, they here are like the two little tube things. They're obviously in their little boxes, which I love. So here is this one and this one. So they always obviously look the same. And I found that this was interesting. How they did the name. So as you can tell, I got butt naked and candy ass. So yeah. Really excited about these. Um and what I basically wanted to do was choose like one really fun one and one kind of like nude one which um really nudes are really hard for me to get and really hard for me to like find ones that I like um so I had never tried Jeffree Star before this is my very first time which I'm super excited about um and let me just say his packaging is literally everything like I am obsessed. Let me go ahead and take them out of the boxes. So first here is Candy Apps. And like literally, look how cute this packaging is. Like I'm absolutely obsessed with it, no lie. Um, honestly, it's probably my favorite packaging from any kind of like lipsticks that I have. Probably like next to Kylie. And here's Butt Naked. And then the side by side. So they're super cute, super fun. Like there's something that I want to go around and like have in my purse and just pull out and be like, you know, like apply it and everything and just, I don't know, it's almost like a show off piece. Just like the way they look, they're so cute. Like why would you not want to show them off? Um, but anyway, I'm really super happy to have these in my collection. Like when I opened them, I was super ecstatic. But first of all, since I showed you the box and the tubes, I really want to go in and just start from when I received the box and then move in and do swatches. Um, and like the texture and such last so like I kind of want to go into process um, first of all here is the box that I received it in obviously the box is like perfect I mean look it's bright pink it has the stars on it obviously which is his logo it was wrapped up in this wrapping paper that also has the stars and I don't know if you can really tell but yeah it was wrapped up and had like a little sticker on it it was also put in bubble wrap I mean, come on now, that's like top-notch, like, packaging. I mean, like, take Kylie, for instance, like, Kylie Cosmetics, stuff like that. It's not wrapped up like that. Like, the boxes are cute, like, when you open it and it says, like, Kylie and stuff, but that is really, really nice packaging. And, like, yeah, I couldn't be happy with that, literally. Um, now for the card. This was something that I was a little bit, like, kind of, like, thumbs down. Um, obviously you have the card that promotes the Summer Chrome Collection, and I thought, because you know, like, when you get Kylie Cosmetics or ColourPop, for instance, you open it and they have, like, little thank you cards, and they're so cute, and they have, like, a little handwritten message on them, so I was like, oh, you know, this is probably, like, a little handwritten message, but it wasn't, it was just advertising more of the Summer Chrome Collection, so that I was just like, I was like, I was hoping to get like a little thank you card like you get in like ColourPop or Kylie Cosmetics. But obviously you don't and yeah, so it just advertises other little things or liquid lips from his collection. Um, so yeah, that was that. But literally A plus for packaging, it's amazing. Um, but the car was a little bit like, but anyway, um, 
obviously like I would have I would have worn one today like I'm so obsessed like I would have worn one but it is the 4th of July so I had to be all festive it's like a chance to like be all festive and someone is literally shooting off fireworks in the middle of the day anyway um but I do want to go ahead and show you pictures that I have on my phone because I did wear both yesterday and I shall show you so here is one picture, and this is me wearing candy ass, obviously. So that was for my makeup look yesterday, um, and then here is butt naked. So I just want to show you like pictures with me like actually wearing it, um, which I will show swatches as well, so don't worry. But those are pictures with me wearing them. Okay, so just to back up a little bit. Whenever I was visiting my boyfriend's sister where she lives, she let me try Daddy from the Manny MUA and Jeffrey collection and basically I really liked it. I liked the formula. I was like, oh, this is kind of like Kat Von D's formula, which is amazing. Um, at that point, I didn't even know about the Jeffrey Star Kat Von D thing. Like, I like recently found that out. Um, but anyway, um, I don't know why I got off on that. But it was similar to her formula and her formula is one of the best formulas for me. Um, it's not super drying, it's not sticky, it's not anything, it's just nice on the lips. It's like you can't tell anything's there, like anything's there. And it's really close to like Tarte for me. Tarte and Kat Von D are probably up at the top. Um, and I have only tried like two little Tarte minis, but they're amazing. Um, so Daddy kind of resembled that, so I was like, okay, well, you know, if they're going to be that good, like let me get them. So I got these in, and... If you go to Jeffree Star's page, actually, you know what, I'm going to pull it up, like his actual Instagram or any of his pages, you can see, like, candy asses being this bright, vibrant, like, really nice shade, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and show you. Okay, so on his Instagram, it's not one that's, like, right up there posted, but if you can just see this right here, I actually have it zoomed in, um... That is candy ass. Obviously, it looks really, really bright. Really, really pretty um, and vibrant. And my cat is literally trying to get all my stuff. She's so obsessed with plastic and boxes. Um, but anyway, if you hear her in the background, like, I literally apologize for that. Um, but it looks so bright and just so really pigmented. And it does on swatches as well. But when I put it on my lips, it was nowhere near as bright. Whereas, like, I guess you could say the pigmentation was not as is seen on Jeffrey's actual pictures on his website. And actually on my brother's sister's lips, it looks a lot lighter than on his. And I know um, different skin tones is different, but we're we're both pale girls. Um, and I mean, Jeffrey's obviously not like super tan. I mean, it's just the pigmentation in general. It was not as dark and it, it's not as dark um, as like on him as it is on me either. So that I was a little bit disappointed in, but Candy Ass is definitely my favorite, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. Now, the swatches, it does look pretty, like, pigmented and bright. So, here's the swatch. By the way, it smells like watermelons. I mean, straight up watermelons. But, honestly, it smells like, what is it, lip smackers or something? Like, that you would get as a kid, like, at Walmart, the drugstore, or whatever. Um, like, the little kids' lip glosses. It's exactly what this smells like. But, anyway, it looks really pigmented here. When I put it on, it's definitely one that's not, um, like, super drying or anything like that. It feels comfortable. It feels light. It feels like there's barely nothing there, and that's what I love in a good liquid lipstick, and it is really good. I mean, it really is. Um, one thing is, like, the sparkles in it, if you get up close, the sparkles are, like, so grainy, you can see them um, on your lips. So that's, like, one thing, and it kind of looks broken up. So, like, if you're really close, it kind of looks a little broken up, but I think that has to do a lot with the graininess of, like, the sparkles. Um, but Candy Ash is definitely my favorite for the formula. Um, not that they're any different, but, like, I don't know. There's just something different. Um, with this one, it's insanely pigmented. Like, my favorite thing to do is, like, put, like, one stripe down the middle of my lip and, like, compare it to my lip color because it is literally so pigmented, and I love that about this color. And I'm really upset with how it really is, and I'll tell you why in a second. Let me show you the swatch. Um, it's so pigmented. But it is so cakey. It's cakey and it breaks up really bad. Um, so if you remember the pictures I showed you just a few minutes ago, I was wearing both. So originally I had butt naked on because it matched my eyes perfectly, right? 
So as soon as I put it on, I was like, oh, this looks good, but it needs another color because it's patchy. You can see my skin right through it. Did I say another color? I'm in another layer. Um, so I put another layer on, and I want to show you, unfortunately, what the lipstick looked like on my lips after putting one coat and then two coats. Like, it, it did nothing to fix it, and I want to show you. Okay, so right here, I really hope you can tell. See how... My, like, you see the skin right through it and how, like, the lipstick is just so patchy and, like, so clumpy. You could, like, see my skin, obviously, straight through that. And it was just so patchy. And I tried it. I reapplied it three different times. It continued to be patchy, so I was like, uh-uh, just screw it. And I took it off and just put candy ass on because it was so patchy. And I don't know what to do. I always put a lip balm under before. I don't know if that made a difference. But, you know, having dry lips like mine, I have super dry lips, I always put a lip balm on under it anyway, so that's what I did. Um, and I don't know if it made a difference, but I'm really upset with how this one breaks up on the lips. And it's so patchy because it's so pigmented, and I love that, but it's patchy, so I have to fix it. It's not going to stop me from wearing it because um, no matter what, it still it actually feels good on the lips. It's a little bit tacky, um, but it's not like super drying or uncomfortable, so I'm definitely going to work with it. And I still love his lipsticks, and... I'm hopefully will buy more in the future, just not right now, <laughs> because money, but, um, I really do like them, and I will buy more in the future, like I say, but, you know, I don't know, I want to keep working with it, um, it's really hard to find a perfect liquid lipstick, and, yeah, so, really, I would give these a 7 out of 10, and that's only because of the patchiness, everything else I thought was really good, and the only other problem I would have was, I just thought, you know, thank you, Clark would be nice, like, some other brands, but, you know, it's whatever, um, but yeah, look how cute, like, they're really so cute, um, but anyway, that is basically all I have to say, um, well, one more thing, it does say on the bottle, or the packaging, I mean, which I don't think I've ever noticed it with any other packaging, it may, it says make sure to shake well before using it, so, let me find it, yeah, see, shake well before use. So I don't really think I've ever seen that on um, other lipstick packagings that I've had at least before. Um, but so like when I very first applied Butt Naked, like whenever I got it, it was patchy. And I was like, well, maybe I didn't shake it because like I didn't see the shake it um, until after I put it on. So I was like, okay, well, then the next morning, which was the morning I took the pictures, made sure to shake it and everything. And it still came out patchy. Um, so that's my only problem. Um, comment down below if you've had the same problem with any of his liquid lipsticks. Or if you haven't, maybe it was just a bad one. I don't know. But anyway, that's just my review. I still love it. I will still buy more in the future. And yeah, so I am pretty pleased overall with everything. And yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I say, happy 4th of July to the people in America. Happy Independence Day. But happy 4th of July in general to everybody. And yeah, so make sure to please give this video a big thumbs up. And subscribe down below if you haven't already. It would mean the world to me honestly i love you guys so much and yeah have a great day or night or whenever you're watching this and